Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Asalia the Eternal, with me, Phantom Zawai. So, last time, I believe, it's been a while, you know, full disclosure, it's been a while since I recorded, but I believe that last time we defeated Dotsie, and we were supposed to head to Sard, or head to fight off the Sardbard country that is invading our allies of Espelia. Uh, Espelia? Espelia? Anyway, something like that. Um, so I think that we'll be getting into more combat in this episode, uh, but I'm not sure if we'll be, you know, having a lot of dialogue beforehand or not. So, let's just see what happens, shall we? Ha! Ta! Slash! I bring down my sword with a yell, sweating profusely. I have to at least increase my skills a little. I'm still not strong enough. As long as Cowdy is held hostage, I need the strength to fight. And for Asalia, too. I continue this single strike over and over. If I could become reliable, then maybe I could solve these problems. No. I need to get rid of these idle thoughts. I have to concentrate on my sword right now. I don't think I'll get stronger just by swinging this sword. Even so, I can't stand to just do nothing. Huh? Something strange. At some point, the sound of another sword cutting the air was added to the sound of my own. Acelia. Acelia? I glance in the direction of the sound and see Acelia. Surprised, I suddenly stop swinging. No, I'll keep going, but... Why are you here? Huh? Acelia answers in a soft voice and repeats her swing. Acelia, I think you're misunderstanding something. I don't remember telling her that doing everything alone is bad, training, in training included. Even so, I'm happy she listened to what I said. She's kind of eccentric, but she's an honest, nice girl at heart. Ah. I hastily start swinging again. Again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like the distance between Asalia and me has closed a bit. Yay! And back into combat. Yep, there we go. Yep. Hearing that Sardbard has betrayed and invaded the Dragon Soul Alliance member Espelia. Espelia? Espelia? Lestina turned pale and headed to the audience chamber. Lestina turns uh, in dismay to the king, who speaks as though this were perfectly natural. She can understand pulling troops back from Dazi, but to send them towards Aspilia, where the enemy forces are concentrated. After considering a moment, she gasps and glares at the king. It's not a look that a daughter would give to her father. It's full of an emotion bordering on hatred. Lucina suppresses her anger as much as she can, but the king takes no notice and responds in a jovial mood. Alright. 
And we have plenty of, uh, of forces against us. Plenty of adversity to overcome. Okie dokie. The Betrayal. Liberate Espelia. Chapter 2. Reach Espelia. We cannot let Rakios fall, of course, and we can't let Yuto die. That's our target. Huzzah! I, I think we need to train a good bit. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been like a month uh, since I recorded this game, at least. Yay! So many reports. Sweet. I have to make sure to mind my manners. Her distinguishing feature is her thick eyebrows that make her strong will evident. At the same time, she has a gentle and great, uh, graceful femininity, femininity to her. Femininity? However, she doesn't show the slightest mercy on the battlefield. Hey, I'd forgotten about you. Not gonna read that profile. <laughs> we'll do it later. Yay! Alright, um... Where do we stand in terms of mana? Uh, okay, we have a mana pool that's 3,500 fine per turn. Okay. So we have a good bit to be uh, distributed. Almost 50,000 mana. Uh, is there anything that I want to destroy? Nope. I don't even remember how to control the game. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I have to just move the cursor to the top, the bottom of the screen. I'm trying to drag, but you can't do that with this game, unfortunately. It would be really nice if I could, but, you know, I don't want miracles. So, uh, is there anything we can do in that place? Probably not. There's a part of me that just wants to save and check down there to see if there's anything uh, worth looking for. But there's probably not, right? I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna quickly save. And, um... Eh, sure, we'll save here. Why not? Gosh, 2010! It's now 2015! Oh, look at how long ago I played the game. Anyway. Um, let's just quickly send this unit down. Let them do whatever they want. And I just want to see if there's anything worth going to this town for. I don't think there's going to be. It doesn't look like there is. Okay, good. I I just needed to know, you know? <laughs> but I also am not going to waste three turns, you know, if there's no reason to. So, uh, we have Nelly, Asalia, and Yuto in a squad. Of course, we want Yuto and Asalia to kill as many enemies as possible together, so as to raise their affection. What are we up against? I gotta re-acclimate myself to the game again. Because, <laughs> you know, I didn't play it at all for a while. It's not gonna be as hard as it was uh, last time, though. I still remember most things, I think. Uh, level 9, 12, and 11. 11, 7, and 8. 8, 10, okay. Doesn't look like we're above level 12. Oh, geez, level 19 for this boss, though. Um... Yeah, level 12 is kind of the... Oh, man! All these guys are 15s and 14s, though. Uh, let's see. Where are we at with most of our squad? We're at level 9 and 10, it looks like. Yeah. And with these two, we're just lagging behind. But I'm pretty sure I made the conscious decision 
just not to worry about them for right now, because we were already starting to lag behind in the experience department. It's all coming back to me now. But anyway, uh, we should probably return to this base and defend it. Uh, we got a level 1 tower there already, so oops. So I don't really think we need to build anything additionally. Is that a training camp? Uh, build. Build. Oh, I should look at the name of that town, right? Uh, Hiei Muna. Hiei Muna. Hiei Muna. There it is. Uh, what is that? Training facility. Okay, we do have a training facility there. Great. So we'll go there, we'll defend for a bit, we'll decide who we want to level up as we're converting some, uh, some mana to ether. They cannot approach us from behind here, which is important, because that's just straight desert with no, uh, no path connecting it. I guess that's supposed to be, like, a river? Probably not through the desert. I wonder what those little black lines are. I can't really tell. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense for that to be a river. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, right? Moving along. <coughs> Excuse me. Yay! Okay, now we're gonna get back here. It does not look like they're going to go on the offense, which is kind of unfortunate, honestly, because I'd love to take advantage of our, our tower here. But that's also okay. So, do we want to train anyone who is available now? Yes, obviously. I'd love to train everyone to level 99 if I could, but <laughs> I don't have that leisure. Actually, I could just load up my, uh, my game where everyone is level 99, but again, I don't think that would be terribly exciting for you guys. I actually do have a game where every single spirit is level 99, just for the record. I played this game a lot. Good lord, level 18, Jesus Christ, woman. You're a fucking monster. Uh, anyway, Farron. I, ooh, no, no, no. I should probably put her into the squad, right? Formation, right. Uh, oh, I guess she's up. Where is she? She's not in the squad, right? Oh, it's because I was clicking on the border of the window, because, you know, it's a window, and it's really annoying to click on this. But anyway, we got two additional spirits. Uh, we need to decide who we're going to distribute here. Uh, she's... what kind of green spirit is she? Well defended. And that raises defense. Seems like she's got decent power as well, at least for now. But she's also level 14. So she's a higher level than most of our squad. Actually, any of our squad except for uh, Farron. No. Hmm. Or do I go with the Black Spirit? Black Spirits are interesting. <coughs> Excuse me again. Can I have them withdraw? I, I don't even remember how to work this stuff. Can I just... Is there a way for me to put out a fifth squad? There's not, I don't think. I think you can only have four squads. Right? I'm not crazy? Because I just don't see a way to scroll this down. And I don't remember that well. Oh wait, yeah it does. That's labeled five and six. Oh, maybe that's teams only for all-rounders? I don't remember. It's all so vague. It probably is, right? Like, if I wanted to move... Oh yeah, I can't move him, but... Um... Anyway. <laughs> Forget it. Let's just worry about leveling up for right now. Is, or is it that I have to go to the capital to do that? Because I remember they spawned in the capital. But no, otherwise I'd just be able to put them in a formation on their own if I could have more teams. Right? Right. Assuming I'm right. Anyway, let's do this. As I, you know, waste five minutes just talking to myself and not making any conclusions. Orpha is still not even level 10. So we should probably raise her up, because uh, I, you know, like they do say at the beginning of the game, and I've already repeated many times, it really is worth investing in Orpha for the late game. I don't even remember she really comes into our own in the first game, to be honest, in, like, just regular new game. 
Uh, but I know in New Game Plus, New Game Plus Plus, and New Game Plus Plus Plus, Orpha becomes a freaking monster. And it's awesome. Okay, so Orpha is leveled up. Uh, we're not going to worry about you or you. Uh, maybe I should level up Helion again. Okay, we got one more person to train, and it's not going to be either of them, so we'll end the turn. Let's go ahead and skip, because they're not going to do anything. Tell me you got something, Orpha. Promoted to new class. Mastered a new skill. Mind Shield 4. It's my basic defense skill, Mind Shield. I concentrate a bunch of mana everywhere and make a wall. Anyway, that's the same thing as she says every time, I think. Just replace Mind Shield 1, because there's absolutely no reason that you should uh, keep it over that. Yes, absolutely. Even though it's still weak as crap. Promoted to a new class. Counterattack 3. Injuries are acceptable to secure a means of escape. Yeah, yeah, you uh, damage them as you defend, of course. 150 attack power. That's not bad. Oh, wait. Why is it less than counterattack 2? Oh, because you have more uses? I should probably actually read this, because they're not the same, right? Even if her enemy's attack is an opportunity for an attack of her own, a fraction of the advantage or damage is reflected back. Okay, it does seem like it's the same description. Oh, A2, doesn't that mean it can be used twice in one turn as well? So she could block two attacks with it in one turn, I think. Again, not remembering everything here. But I believe that's the case here. And let's train up one more person. I think we have enough mana for that. We could do Yuto, because Yuto is kind of a badass. Acelia, also kind of a badass. But we also have several level 9s yet, and of course lower, but, eh, whatever. Basically, whatever. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather recently, just really stuffy and uh, kind of congested, but eh, not gonna put off recording forever, right? We got YouTube videos to make. Um... Well, she takes more. Isn't it Nelly that attacks the attacker, I believe? Rather than the defenders, which makes her kind of a unique uh, person to put in the attacker slot. Maybe Himaka. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. Oops. Herp derp. Train it up. <coughs> um, I could level up Asperia or Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Maybe I should level up Asperia. She is my number one defender. Let's do that. Okay, now we have very little, um, at the remaining. We have a decent amount of mana, uh, but maybe we should start making some forward progress. We will take two cities, so maybe we fight through to either here or here. We build a new, um, a new training facility there. We train up, we assault here, uh, assuming that we stop here. That's probably what we'll do. They've got a level one tower, they got a level two tower. But there's not going to be much left by the time we take that town there, so it doesn't matter. Uh, that Even that unit might move to attack us before we actually uh, take this city. You never know. All depends on what they're programmed to do. We are going to all move forward as a unit, so we can choose who we want to fight with uh, for each squad. Who we want to start with, who we want to clean up with, etc. So I am going to end this turn. I know it's kind of wasting our, uh, our speed rank, but that's okay. 
I'm alright with it. Learn something. Yeah. Double swing two. An advanced form of swing skill uses the recoil from swing to perform a second strike. The power is still not that high, though. It's not bad. I mean, it's not great. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, uh, Exactly, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth. It's better than most red spirits for attacks, uh, uh, you know, just regular physical attacks, anyway. Earth Prayer is a healing spell. Uh, it affects any, doesn't it heal the most damage? Characters whose health is lowest, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, pretty much have to just go over the old one, right? It's just better. Apparently, I'm just going to be coughing this entire episode. Anyway, let's save the game. Huzzah! Now then. And we'll all move forward. We'll probably get attacked by that unit right there. But that's okay, because we can choose who to intercept with. Um, though I probably should have looked at my formations a little more carefully before I marched forward. But hey, what's done is done, right? Charge me. I know you're going to do it. Yep. Okay, so we got a red attacker, green defender, and a red uh, supporter, which means that we need a ice banisher. We could do that with this squad, but let's see what else we got. We could do it with this squad, but that's a terrible idea because, you know, freaking Orpha Kick is not powerful at all. We discussed this. Okay. So it seems like our main squad is going to be <laughs> kind of the obvious one here, right? We could defend like that. She'd attack the attacker, right? Or no, any enemy. Okay. So it must be Shia that attacks the attacker. I was wrong there, apparently. Or is it just that not that leap attack? Yeah, okay. It's not her. Good to know, good to know. Uh, she's only got 90 spirit only. It's not bad. We could have her defend and get a little bit of that uh, that mind back, actually. And also, we're not going to be using her to defend much. And that's only a little more strong, uh, a little more strong, a little more powerful than her. So we might as well do that, actually. And Yuto is a strong attacker. Okay, yeah, a number means the number of uses that it has in one single turn. So yeah. That'll hit twice, that'll hit once. Uh, we're up against a green defender. I don't think we want to use Frenzy yet. Let's go with Heavy Attack 2. It's going to be a little bit more of a uh, battle of attrition here. But that's okay. Is that Water Shield 3 the best defense she has? Yes, it is. Let's go. Let's do it. First battle since, uh, you know, started recording again. Have at it. Not bad. No, you don't. No way. You can't stop Aselia. Nice. So this is not going to kill her, unfortunately. Oh, it did. Is it because she couldn't uh, couldn't defend a second time in that turn? I didn't pay that much attention. But I saw a critical hit, which means I think that she couldn't. Anyway, that's great. So now we have a fireball <coughs> Excuse me, from the supporter and a, a kind of weak attack from the attacker. We can probably move in with squad three now to uh, to do some cleanup. We can ice banish with her, and we could block with Orpha, but do I really want to do that? 
I mean, it's not that strong compared to her actual uh, new defensive ability. She just has such low HP. Her mind is already great, though, so there's really no point to do that. Like, normally, I would put her in this position, because I'd be like, okay, I want to get her some mind. It's just her attack is so weak. So. Huh, that's unfortunate. I guess we... I guess we move in with squad one. I need to redistribute my squad a little bit. Maybe I should just do that this turn. Either, either that or I need to level up Celia. Because just having a third Ice Banisher, a third reliable Blue Spirit in a squad is invaluable. Because then I could alter up the combination a little bit. You know, Yuto is a good all-rounder. This squad is amazing with the, uh, you know, the abilities we have in it. We have a strong, we have, they're all strong attackers. We have one really strong defender, uh, but if we don't need a strong defender, he can take another role. And then she, or she, can seal magic. He has um, magic that will boost everyone's abilities and, you know, just, it's kind of overpowered as crap, but he's an at-ranger, so that's okay. The point being that, hey, I should probably level up Celia. Despite having said otherwise up until now. Uh, maybe... Maybe we do this. Because she actually can attack fairly strongly. And then if we have this combination... Bam. It's pretty good. When we don't need her in the supporter role to Ice Banish, we can stick her in there and she'll attack the attackers. Which is nice. Okay. Yeah, let's do that for now. Seems like a decent combination. Because our third squad is just kind of, you know, they're on cleanup duty for everything because they're kind of bad right now. Yeah, there's no way I can move them right now. I think I have to move that squad back to the capital. Or I would have to completely dismiss them, but I don't remember how you do that. I might even have to take them back to the capital to do that. It's all kind of blur. Uh, but anyway, that is that. I thought that took my turn. It doesn't take my turn to to adjust my formation like that? Well, that's awfully handy. Uh, in that case, squad two, go destroy some stuff. That'll last banish it. That'll easily block it. Does she have an accurate block three? She does not. She's still kind of a weak defender right now. But it's good enough. Double swing two, that's what we want. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to skip this combat. We know it's going to play out in our favor. Bam, they're dead. Well executed, I would say. Not every combat's going to take that long. I'm just I'm shaking off the rust, you know? We're going to start going faster again. I should probably actually look at who we're fighting. Okay, green, green, blue. That's really not a strong squad. Like, actually, they're pretty pathetic. They've got a strangely strong attacker for a green spirit. Uh, but other than that, they're really weak. <laughs> like, really, really weak. The only problem is we can't use some... Like, I would love to use this squad, but they have an Ice Banisher. So we're not going to be able to do that. That's the only sad thing about it. We could use... I was about to say we could use a squad, but then we'd use Orph as the attacker again. Basically, if Orpha can't be used in the supporter role, she's freaking worthless. But she's just so good in that role when you can use her. But you can't use her in that role when they've got a blue spirit or a red spirit in the uh, supporter role, because the red spirit will just do too much damage to your squad if you ignore them, and the blue spirit will just banish your spells. So only if they've got a green spirit is Orpha just amazing. In general. Very, you know, generalizing there, but you get the idea. Maybe we go in again with them. Don't think it's a bad idea. But we alter up the... Um, the order. Or do we? Okay, we need to look at a way to make use of our supporter. It's either Yuto Squad or Helion Squad. We could alter our formation again. Because we're all together and it doesn't take our turn, which I thought it did. But since it doesn't, 
we can just move a Helion to a squad where she's more effective. Maybe we switch them out for right now. And then we have her there, him there, her there. And that's a really effective squad against this uh, this trio we've got right here. I just absolutely will run through them like butter. Okay, maybe we won't run through them like butter. But they won't damage us, and we're going to do a lot of damage to them. So I'd say that's a pretty big victory. How much mine does that cost? Attacking... Oh, none. Okay. Uh, so it's only if she kills them. I always forget how that works. But anyway. Uh, Terror 1. Does she have anything else? Weaken? What is that weaken? Reduces the enemy attacker's attack power. Don't really care. Yuta will be fine. Terror does a little damage and weakens their defense? The enemy defender's defensive power. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what I thought it was, but I wanted to be sure. Impulse Blow is very powerful. That's kind of probably overkill for them. I think we might actually do Leap Attack, too. Uh, I think we probably will... I think we'll probably kill the defender with the help of terror here. The thing is, I could also do something like this. Which is really sneaky, but pretty awesome. It's only a one attack power strike. Yeah. I could have seen that just by looking right there, but I'm stupid, so I didn't. So actually, I think we're going to get kind of cheeky with this. We'll do Inspire 1, which is an awesome spell. Uh, raises our attack. It will lower our defense, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Use counterattack 2, which is our strongest defense for her. She can only use it once, but they're only going to attack once, so we're perfect. So that will allow us to do a little damage to their attacker. Uh, we will have... Sh their defense will be... or rather our offense will be raised, so we'll probably kill them with this. I hope we do, because I'm, I'm basically gambling on taking out their defender here. Because they have a lot of HP, which is the only reason I worry about it. Okay, I think we got him. I think we get- Oh, no! That's so disappointing! Oh, uh, we were right on the edge, but... Okay. No big deal. No, that squad can't be used just yet safely. One moment. All right, I'm back, and with a puppy in tow. Hey, Willow. What's up, girl? Okay, let's get back to it. So, which squad do we take in next? I'm thinking probably Squad Two. Squad Two is pretty awesome. So we can just basically a stalemate with them. That's fine. They'll do a little damage to her, but it's no big deal. We'll take them out easily. So let's do this. <laughs> Let's not just talk about it all day, let's do it. There we go, did a lot of damage to their supporter. Now they have a decently strong attacker, and that's kind of all they got going for them. Uh, I think we might... No, I don't want to do that. I don't really want to waste one of her spells, it'll be banished, but... I could do like this, because I don't really care if that gets banished. No, why, why am I thinking? Why would I do that? Rather, I could have her do a spell I don't really care about. Firebolt is easily the weakest, so let's just have her be banished. I don't really care. <laughs> the point is that I just want... Um, I want the enemy to be destroyed here. And this will easily block all of their stuff. So, let's do it. There we go. Boom. And once the supporter there was destroyed... Actually, they weren't able to even follow up um, and stop our uh, Orphus Firebolt, rather, once they were destroyed. Her second Firebolt. 
All right, we're moving forward. This is gonna be kind of a push. We gotta be careful how we advance here, actually. Because if we destroy this squad, move into this square, we can be attacked by both of these units in one turn. Now, one of them probably won't attack us. That kind of seems to be how the game likes to play it. They like to have one kind of offensive unit in these defended uh, bases, and then one that kind of stays defensive and, defensive and makes you come to them. And, you know, they're going to get the benefit of that uh, tower bonus, too. So that's good for them, not so good for us. Okay, here we got another Ice Banisher, so that's a pain in the ass. And Squad 3 is the only one that we are even going to think about attacking with here. Uh, because Leap Attack 2 is kind of mean. Not gonna lie. No, that's... I think, again, we have her just be Ice Banished. Because, you know, we kind of don't want to... Uh, we don't want to waste her in this position right here. And we need uh, Asperia, basically, in the defender position. Uh, because of Leap Attack 2, which is pretty mean. So yeah, we'll just let her get banished. Her second Firebolt actually should get through, right? Because there's only going to Ice Banish her once, so that'll be nice. But anyway, yeah, let's do it. I should have checked to make sure we had enough Leap Attacks left, but... I didn't. Banished. Okay, we hit him with that. It's no big deal, but... Okay, we did a little damage. Now we'll end our turn, because we're not going to attack with Squad 4. They're very, very weak. But what I should be doing is Squad 4 is not doing anything. I should return them into Rakios while we're doing all this. I'm going to do that right now. I've been wasting so much time. I could have had them um, moving towards Rakios to, to get another squad member, but... Oh, well. It is what it is, I guess. Is there a way to withdraw? Am I just stupid? Don't answer that, please. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me again. Okay. Let's move squad two in first. Should not be a problem. That's gonna hurt her, but... Kind of okay with that, you know? You gotta spend money to make money. Sometimes you gotta take damage to do damage. We're gonna kill their defender. Our defender's gonna be okay. I think that we get the uh, better part of that deal. Yeah. I think we definitely got the better part of that deal. So we'll have Squad 1 come in here and clean up. Because Squad 1 can handle it, even if they're attacked by both squads in one turn. Uh, Acelia's got all the mind in the world. So, I think we're going to have her finish off this guy. Even if she kills him, it's not be, I shouldn't have used Inspire there, I just wasn't thinking. Uh, we'll move Squad 3 down as well, just so we have a little more versatility. Attack us, I know you're going to, yep. So they're the squad that's going to attack. They're going to use a Fireball, that's no big deal, because we can banish them MFers. And... Power Strike, it's not really that strong. So we might use Helion again, because Helion is awesome. And we'll use Heavy Attack. We'll take some damage by attacking that guy. In the first time, he'll defend a good bit of our damage, and he'll do some damage back to us. But he won't be able to defend at all against our second strike. So, we'll do that. We'll take a little damage with Helion, we'll accept it. We banish their Fireball, they can't do anything about it. Bam. Easily a uh, better result on our side. Despite being on the defense. Yeah, they lost their defender. I'd say, oh wow, they're both attacking us. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're definitely in the driver's seat here. We should be able to defend against Fireball 1 with Ice Banisher 2, right? So let's go ahead and set that for her uh, support skill. We've only got one more defense out of Counterattack 3 here. Oh, Impulse Below 1. Nope. Yuto, sorry. You're going to have to eat this one. Unfortunately, he he's he needs a stronger defensive ability, but he'll get it. It's just he hasn't gotten it yet. I'm waiting for Violent Block 4, but, you know, it'll come. 
He just got so much HP that it's kind of okay that he's going to take that much damage. Um, so what we need to do here... She doesn't have Yai Sword 3 yet. That sucks. Well, what can you do? At least she'll attack him three times, but that's still not going to kill him. Despite his pathetic uh, defense. He'll defend against two of them with that really bad shield. Uh, the third one will hit him undefended, but it really doesn't matter all that much. Because it's weak. Oh well. Let's just do it. I, or I could intercept him in squad three, but... Does that work out any better? I don't think it does. No. We can force a stalemate, which maybe is better, actually? Now that I think about it? But no, because when we attack them, they're going to have the benefit of the tower. The the other thing to consider is when the turn ends, they'll get the healing bonus that we like to exploit when we can for being in a base at the end of a turn. So we'd like to do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, I think this is the best we're going to do. So let's just do it. Yeah, we only did half damage to the defender. It's not great. You'll never hear me say otherwise. But hey. I've still got plenty of fireballs left in both cases. Who's going to intercept us? That squad, which is way weaker. Meaning we should probably use squad 3 to try to get to them. Because they're just not a big problem for this squad, right? He's still got fireballs, so we still need to banish him, unfortunately. That puts Orpha at too much risk. This sucks. I think we kind of need to push through. Like, we have to push through with Squad 1. As much as I don't like that. We can do this. I I'm going to have her use this slightly weaker block, but she'll be alright. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's running out of attacks, too. <laughs> alright. Squad 3. Can you do anything for me here? Yes, you can finish off this enemy. Very easily, actually. Like this. Let's not use that. Because it's the better... Oh, actually, he's only, he's only got one left. And she normally uses it three times, so maybe I should use it just to get rid of it. Will that kill him? No, it won't even come close. So maybe I don't do that after all. What's your best block? That is your best block. Yeah, you're just gonna kind of eat it. <laughs> Sorry. But you do not have... A powerful enough strike... Why is Asperia so goddamn overpowered? Look at that, 500 attack power. She hits with it twice. She's our strongest defender. She has amazing support skills. God damn it. I'm, I'm not going to stop harping on that. Asperia is so goddamn good. Alright, Asperia. Fuck him up. He, you didn't fuck him up. You left him with 7 HP. No. Oh, it hurts. All right, Celia, you're gonna take this one on the chin for us. Um, you two, you're out of heavy attacks. Um, use heavy attack one. So I know I've been abusing you in this. And Helion, do I really want you down there in the support role? I don't want you to use terror. I want to use Weaken, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Water Shield 3 is her best, right? Yeah, it is. That's fine. Let's finish him off. Bye! Okay, now this time, we gotta pay a little more attention to what we're doing. Okay, we got Squad 2 down here now. What can we do with you? What can I do for you? You didn't hear that. Impulse Blow 1 sucks. Also, they're getting all their attacks recharged because they're inside that base, which sucks even more. So they've healed up. 
They've also restored all of their attacks. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Double swing two. Oh, she's out of it. And it was so much better than our alternative. Swing two sucks too. No. I don't like it. I don't love it. And I don't want some more of it. Ah, oh, this is this is not good, man. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna really be eating some damage on the chin here, I think. No, we can't do that one. She'll just die straight up. Uh, Orpha in the attacker slot always sucks. Um, I really just need to adjust my squads and make like an uber squad to push through. I think this is my best bet. Oh wait, no. I've got to banish that spell or I'm freaking dead. What am I thinking? Oh, I don't like this. Do you have one block left with your best defense? I think you do, right? I know this is going to hurt you a lot. But, like, we ha we need to do this. It's all on you, Elyon. Uh... Yuto, you are going to attack with Frenzy. This is the reason we saved it, right? Is for a situation like this. That's why we didn't just start spamming it from the beginning. Because we knew we were going to be pushed into a tighter spot. And here it is. Okay. Yeah, we know we can block that with Ice Banisher too, so that's fine. She'll live. She'll be really hurt, though. We can't use her to defend anymore after this. Let's do it. We should be able to kill their defender. We're making headway if we do that. Helion is so hurt. He offended. Kill him. He's dead. Alright. Excellent. We're making good ground. Okay, now I need to adjust our squad a little bit. Helion, I need you out. Because uh, I need a de I need a strong defender here. Is what it boils down to. Probably not a Spirit because I want to make sure she doesn't get any additional uh lovey dovey points. So what I, I can need, I need a stronger attacker in that case. That's fine. I can have Shia attack and be... Yeah, yeah. She can attack the attacker. So we just banish with uh, Asalia. Shia destroys them with her leap attacks. She's got impulse blow one as well. But she only uses that once versus twice with leap attack two. So we're going to stick with that. I think it's going to be a better deal, because they are not going to be able to defend, so they'll be critical hits to begin with. Yes, this is what we want. I think. Though we might actually have a Celia attack, because that way we can get Shia some mind, right? By defending. That's how that works, I think. Mind effect 1. Not minus 1. So yeah, that should be fine. So squad 1, you're going to destroy their attacker now. Impulse blow one. She can use that twice because she's a beast. Yeah, this will destroy them. We'll destroy him anyway. Uh, though they might attack the supporter first. I don't know. Let's find out. Either way, yeah. <laughs> They're both dead, actually. <laughs> oh, the attacker lived! I can't believe it! Well, we can give the squad who takes the base a bonus here. And squad 2 is the one who needs it most. Because Himika and Helion are in the 80s. So let's have them take the base. He's not going to be able to do diddly or squat. He can attack her, but she's going to be just fine. We might have Helion take the, uh, the win here. Just because she was so valuable to us. She deserves it. I'd like to reward her, right? Alright. Oh, actually, Himika's gonna kill him anyway. <laughs> Alright. Good deal. So now we'll move you in. And then we'll recover, because Jesus, do we need it. Uh, they'll be attacking us. We'll have a tower defense bonus. This guy's probably gonna attack us, at least I'm pretty sure. They have two level 8s and a level 11. Uh, that's gonna be a pretty mean... Uh, black defender, or attacker rather, excuse me. 
But otherwise, not a big deal at all. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, they are gonna attack us like this. Okay, even if we force a stalemate here, it's no big deal. Because we're recovering, we're in a base. And we need them, or this squad rather, because we have the Ice Banishers. So we banish the Fireball, we easily... Well, actually, we don't easily block because that only blocks once. Do we have a block that defends more than once? No. Or, yeah, no. That's the wrong one. No, no, and of course no. Okay, so that's that's the one bad thing about Asperia's defense, right? She can only defend against one attack. But even still, she'll be fine. She has tons of HP. Uh, we're just going to force a, a stalemate here with this. They won't hurt us. We won't hurt them. Well, they'll hurt, they'll hurt us a little bit, but it really doesn't matter because we'll, we'll heal at the end of this turn anyway. So, let's do it. Yeah, no big deal at all. Alright, now we hop squad one in there. Now we'll try to make a little headway if we can. Switch the formation between those two squads a little bit. We need a banisher. So we need Nelly. What we need is a stronger attacker. That can work for either Himaka or Helion. But her attacks are actually pretty weak right now. It's just that she's good for piercing through defenses with her multiple attacks. Um, that's one thing that Helion never really gets great at. She's, she's pretty well-rounded, but I would say she's on the lower end of the scale in terms of being well-rounded. She's not a character that excels, but she's good at doing interesting things. That's kind of really how a lot of Black Spirits work. We'll meet the, one of the main heroine Black Spirits a bit later, and she's badass, frankly. She shows Helion up, but they kind of all do. Like, you know, Asalia is easily the most badass Blue Spirit. Uh, Asperia is easily the most badass Green Spirit, etc., etc. But anyway... The point being, maybe we go with Himaka here. Okay, squad three. Let's do this. You can use double swing two again. This way we can do some damage. Let's have at it. Bam! Yeah, we're gonna take that defender out now. Okay, now squad two. We can't use you because you need a ice banisher or you're gonna get lit up. So end the turn. Oh, I should have started building a base. Oh. Or not a base, but a, uh, a training facility. That's okay. Okay. Start using Leap Attack 2 again. This is fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Though, actually, to get her some more mind... I think we might do this. I wouldn't do this if we weren't sitting in a base, but since we are sitting in a base, she'll gain 5 mind from this, so she'll be back in the, in the 90s. And as I've said before, I love having my squad sitting at, uh, you know, basically in the 90s in terms of their mind, so I don't have to worry about it. Which everyone is now in the 90s or at 100, which is fantastic, aside from Shia, which we're about to fix. So we use Inspire... No, we won't use it. What? Oh. I keep making the same mistake. I gotta have a banisher. Either way, we're gonna use her to take the hit because I like that idea. Uh, we will have Yuto use Frenzy because we're gonna get it recharged at the end of this turn anyway. So we'll take out one of them. Let's do this. Bam. All right. Let's adjust our squads a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. She's a weak defender. She's a good supporter or attacker. She's a good attacker or a decent support. I would like a stronger defender here, but it is what it is, right? 
But for now, let's run like this, though. Though, actually, we could trade Shia for someone. Do I want to? Not really. Okay. Either way, I, I need to start building a training facility. Or I could wait until we take this base and be a little more efficient about it. I think... <clears throat> excuse me, I think we'll be fine doing that. We're not even, we haven't even converted all of our mana yet. And we've already wasted a turn. Uh, that we'd have to wait longer, basically, is what I'm saying, in order to, uh, to build the training facility. Because we didn't build it on our first turn here, that we captured it. So, yeah, let's, let's wait about that. I'm gonna save right now, because I haven't saved in a while. And if you've watched some of my videos, you know that I'm pretty bad. And I'm mad about that, by the way. But, uh, actually taking a look at the clock here, before we move on... Now that we've apprehended this base, I do think that is where we are going to call an end to today's episode. So as always, thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.